Hey everybody, how's it going guys? On today's video we're going to be talking about Double Masters spoiler season. Let's get started. Traveler's Amulet, one of my personal favorites, comparable with Wanderer's tw Twig. Sack it, get a basic land. On the right, reprint of Winged Kotal, Flash Flying Death Touch. Good card, but meh. Liev Sky Knight, 3-1 Flying, whenever it ETBs detain a permanent, chaff. Ground Assault, right? Chaff. Deal. Deals damage to our creature equal to the number of lands. Call to the Feast, not bad. Create 3 1 1 vampires with lifelink. Augur Spree. Plus 4, minus 4. Travel preparations. Put 1 1 counter on each of up to 2 target creatures. Chaff. <coughs> Might of the old Crozier, to our creature gets 2-2. Two, two. If you cast a spell during your main phase, it gets 4-4. Four, four. Meh. Grapple with the pass. That's a good card. I need that card. Everybody needs that card for milling, right? You mill 3, then return a creature or land. It's good. Deadly Recluse. Not bad. Reach Death Touch. Centaur Battle Master. Whenever you cast a spell that targets, put 3-1-1 one, one counters on it. Titan Strength, plus 3, plus 1, Scry 1. Stagger Shock, deals 2 damage to any target, Chaff. Spark Mage's Gambit, deals 1 damage to each of its 2 target creatures. Those creatures can't block. Not good. Perforos' MSC. Enchant Creature gets 3, 3, and has Menace, Bestow, Chaff. Living Lightning, whenever it dies, return... Return what? Target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Not bad, but a little steep for four mana. Uh, it's got good creature types. Croon Striker. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, it gets plus one and trample. Chaff. Hissing Iguana. This is actually a really good card, guys. I think it's going to shoot up in value a couple bucks. Whenever another creature dies, it can deal one damage to target player or planeswalker, so... If you can get a lot of creatures entering from flickering or whatever. Supernatural Stamina is a pretty good card too. If a creature dies, it uh, returns to the battlefield tapped. So, Pretty good instant for one. Strands of Undeath. Chaff. Whenever a DTB target player discards two cards and regenerates the creature, not good. Whenever it enters the battlefield, deals one damage to any target, not good. Shadowborn Apostle. That's a good card because it's... It's been a long time since it was a reprint. Good. Severed Strands. Sack a creature, you gain life equal to its toughness. And then destroy a creature and opponent controls. Not that good. Liliana's Elite. Gets 1-1 one, one for each creature card in your graveyard. Not good. Disfigure. Target creature gets negative 2-2. Two, two. Not good. Carrier Thrall. You would think it's good, but in a way, it's kind of not good. It's maybe the situational vampire things. Whenever it dies, you can get a colorless, you know? So, maybe if it's worth 15 cents, it's worth it to get two. Makeshift Mauler on the right. is an addition to Casted Exile, a creature card from your graveyard. That could be pretty good for zombie horror. Ingenious Scab is a 2-3 with prowess, and it gets a little bit beefed up, but then weaker for each island. Not good. You know, it might be good for modern or standard or whatever, but I don't think so. Cosmina's Transmutation. Guys, this card is actually really good, uh, but it's, uh, it get, it's a high-level salt card, you know? Enchant Creature loses all abilities to those base power toughness 1-1, one, one, so... You know, going to get a lot of hate. Same thing with Capture Sphere, it taps the creature with Flash. So, it's kind of a hate card for sure, right? Uh, they did that in a couple other sets too. I think Kami Gawai, they had the lowest casting cost one. Sensor Splicer, a 1-1 one, one that creates a 3-3 three, three whenever it ETBs and it has Vigilance. Meh. It was known in the past with popularity. That type of Phyrexian Artificer. Scale Blessing Chaff. Bolster 1. Then put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. For 4. Not good. 
Whenever this card enters the battlefield, support three. Eh, potential, I guess, for those 1-1 one, one counter decks, few and far in between. Knightly Valor, and it enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 two, two white knight with vigilance. Uh, and then it gets another 2-2. Two, two. That's vigilance. Last Breath. This card is actually pretty good, comparable to Swords of Blouse Shares in a way, but Exile Tower Creature with power 2 or less. So, Last Breath. Take it for what it's worth. Hyena Umbra gets 1-1, one, one, has first strike. This is almost like that shield effect in Kamigawa, remember, guys? Remember the shield one? Uh, Glow Spore Shaman, whenever it enters the battlefield, mill three cards. You can put a land card from your graveyard on top of your library. Not good. Forbidden Alchemy, this could be good. Look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them in your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Good for those dredge decks, but still a little steep with the flashback, though, unfortunately. Fiery Fall deals 5 damage to our creature for 6 mana, or basic land cycling. You know, this is actually good in a way, because you can basic land cycle for the land, and then you want it in your graveyard, right? So and then maybe you can cast it later for free. Yelumbra. Oh, there's another one, but it costs 2 mana, this one. Flash, enchant creature gets 1-1. One, one. Eh. Blue found a way to regenerate one time with Yelumbra. Blood Flow Connoisseur, a 1-1, one, one. sack a creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter. Uh, that's not good because there's a zombie that does the same thing for only 1 mana as opposed to 3. So, I think it's called like Corpse Carry-On or something. Uh, so this is not good. Corpse Connoisseur. Battlefield Promotion, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. That creature gains first strike until end of turn, not good. Even Initiate, also not good. 4 mana for a 3-2 flying, well, also has Embalm, but for 7, whew. Ambuscade, target creature control gets plus 1, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature, not that good. Anointer of Valor, whenever a creature attacks you can pay 3 whole mana and put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Oof. Agony Warp. Certain a certain creature gets negative three attack. Another one gets negative three defense. That actually could be pretty good if it uh, if there's a way to destroy them both by being affected or whatever. So, Quasal Pride Mage. This still seems to be a couple of dollars, but I don't know if it's good anymore because it costs two different colors. Creatures got exalted. Sack it. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Uh, my Robo deck uh, needs to be changed, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep him in it. Lee Guild Mage. This card is actually really good, guys. I need this card. Uh, for the secondary ability, copy target instant or sorcery spell with mana value X. You may choose new targets for the copy. That's that's good. That is good. Especially early in the game, too. He only costs two mana. And then Annette the Dreamer. Not a good card. Legendary. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you can pay three. If you do exile top card of your library face down, you can look at it for as long as it remains exiled, and you may play that card without paying its mana cost. So, yeah. Uh, Smothering Tithe, very popular reprint. Uh, not that good for one-on-one, -on -one maybe, but uh, it's also it's good for uh, group commander, as they say. Just Sky Ascendancy, not bad. Whenever you cast an eye creature spell, creatures you control get one, one. But the but the best part is untap those creatures. So, and then you can draw a card and discard a card. So. Monastery Mentor, Prowess, and what does it say? Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1. One, one. Uh, spell Slinging White? Prowess, you may look at the top card of your library at any time. Oh, okay, and you can cast non-creature spells from the top of your library. You may cast it all. That's fine. Yeah. I suppose those two cards go together, right? But I don't like it. Abbot of Carol Keep, Prowess. Whenever it enters the battlefield, exile the top card of your library. You can play that card. Eh, not bad, but another one of those exile abilities, I guess, for those exile decks. Talran, Sky Summoner. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you get a 2-2 Drake. This is a card I would have liked to have back in the day. Revelark, Revelark, uh, fly, uh, Flying, whenever it ETBs return. Two target creature cards with power, two less from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's 
almost like a combo card, eh? I mean, if you got a little white weenie deck that's uh, uh, low casting cost creatures, it's good to throw it in for sure. Uh, Lightning Helix deals 3 damage to any target. You gain 3 life. Prophetic Bolt deals 4 damage to any target. Lay the top 4 cards of the library. Put one of those into your hand. The rest in the bottom of the library. Just got charm. Put target creature on top of its owner's library. Deals 4 damage to target opponent. Or could you control get 1 1 lifelink? Not impressed with all these cards, guys. Young Pyromancer used to be pretty good. Whenever you cast an insert sorcery spell, create a 1 1. So, yeah. Elemental. Mentor of the Meek. Whenever another creature with power 2 or less ATBs, you can pay 1 and draw a card. So, Spell Pierce. Counter target non creature spell. Unless it's control, it pays 2. That could be good. Those last two cards I just read, Mentor of the Meek could be pretty good too. It could go up a couple dollars. Mana Leak. Counter target spell. Unless it's control, it pays 3. Is a charm. Counter target non creature spell. Unless it's control, it pays 2. Just Sky Elder. Uh, deals combat damage to a player. You may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Uh, we got another human soldier white card. Whenever you TBs, look at the top four cards of your library. You can reveal a creature card with two power, uh, with power two or less from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of the library. Not that good. Monastery Swift Spear. I believe this card used to be like a hundred dollars one time, wasn't it? The foil version or something? A one one haste prowess. Uh, let me know what deck that was in, you guys. And then here we're at Blood Forge Battle Axe uh, from where we were last time. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you guys on the next one.